Hello there everybody, welcome back to TNT. I'm glad that you joined me today because we have another great product review. Behind me you'll see the greenhouse I'm in the process of building. And a couple of days ago I installed a vintage window in the apex of the roof with hinges on the top of it. And the reason I did that is because I want to install one of these automatic temperature control window opener hinges. Um, I've seen these online, seen them in videos. I'm hoping it works as good as I think it's going to. We don't have any electricity out here at the greenhouse uh, and we want to have some help with some ventilation to keep it from getting too hot in there. So in theory, when it reaches a certain temperature, this is going to open up that window in the apex and let a breeze through. So without further delay, stay tuned. I'm going to open this up. We're going to install it and uh, hopefully we can get it to work. I don't, I don't know how you can do that without uh, being able to change the temperature, but we're going to try it. So stay tuned and we'll see how this looks and how it works, hopefully. So what comes inside the box? Hopefully some instructions. Rod and hinge and some attachment details. Oh, oh, whoo, and some instructions. Fantastic. Well, let's get this uh, out to the greenhouse, try to get it installed. So, here's that window we installed that I intend to put that uh, automatic window opener on. I got a couple shims in there to keep it from swinging as I don't have anything to stop it from opening or closing till I get that installed. But let's go ahead and uh, get that done. So that wasn't too hard. We've got the uh, thermal window opener installed. You can see it's in the closed position right now because it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. This afternoon should warm up to 70. That should be right around where this thing starts to creep open. So as it warms up through the day, if it gets warm enough to open up, I hope to get a shot of that thing actually working. And I'll put it in the video right here. It's starting to open. Actually, I think it has to reach somewhere around like 80 degrees to reach its full extension. We're not going to hit that today, but I'll keep my eye on it. It's a little bit more open. I think that's as far as it's going to open today. It's not supposed to get any warmer, but it's working really, really well. Yeah, I'm impressed. So that's going to do it for another uh, product review here on TNT. I'll put a link in the description below to the model that I purchased on Amazon. Even if that's not the one you decide to go on, it's a good place to start. At least get some idea what's out there. It'll show you competing products and everything right there in the description below. It was pretty easy to install. I'll tell you though, um, what I did was put it in the refrigerator for about a half hour before I put it, the assembly in. So you got to put some pins through the compression rod or the piston and that was super simple to do when it was cold because it's all closed and it made screwing it onto the frame much easier as well. So that might uh, work for you. Remember that little tip if you're uh, trying to put this together on a hot day that thing's going to want to be wide open the whole time. So refrigerator, cool it off, closes up nice and tight and uh, yeah that worked for me. But anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Try New Things. If this is your first time, thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Got any questions or comments, leave them below. And until the next video, bye-bye.